Good morning and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at drawing and preparing to print our tri spinner. Today we're going to begin by selecting new standard IPT. Start 2D sketch from the upper left hand corner. Place your 2D sketch on the XY plane. We're going to click zoom all magnifying glass piece of paper. We're going to begin with a circle. Start at our origin. Wait for the green dot, please. We're going to click and stretch out a circle. This is going to fit the bearing, so we need to have a diameter of 0.866. And press Enter on the keyboard. Next, we're going to zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to take our line tool. We're going to start from our origin, and we're going to make sure that we have our vertical snap. And I want this line to go vertical 1.62 1.625 that's 1 and 5 eighths of an inch make sure you have your straightness snap and press enter on the keyboard press the escape key next we're going to draw some center line circles so we're going to start with a circle start at our origin bring this out this diameter here, we want to be 2.125. Press Enter on the keyboard. Press the Escape key. Next, we're going to place a point in order to revolve our circles around. I'm going to place a point. Come up here to the top. Make sure you're getting your green dot or it's snapping onto that intersection. And click. Press the Escape key. Next, I want to take and use my circular pattern. Select my geometry. I want to select that plus mark or that center mark. Once that's highlights red, then we're going to select our axis we want it to rotate around. Select your center point. We want it to rotate six times going around and we want it to be a full 360 degrees. So that looks correct and press OK. And that places your points going around on here. Next, we're going to take a circle. We're going to draw at the intersection here when we get our green dot. This circle here is 1.242 as a diameter. Press Enter on the keyboard. I'm also going to take and press the Escape key. Now I'm going to take and copy this circle choose my base point tool and I want that to be the center of the circle and I want to copy that to the 8 o'clock position and I also want to copy that to the 4 o'clock position press the escape key okay that's the wings of the tri spinner next I need the inside curve so I'm going to select new circle tool I'm going to go to the dot on the right hand side or the point on the right hand side when it highlights with a green dot, I'm going to click, stretch out this rectangle, I'm sorry, this circle. This diameter is 0 0.883, and press Enter on the keyboard. Now I'm going to select Copy. I want to copy this smaller circle. I want to choose my base point, which is going to be the center of that circle. I'm going to copy that over here. To the 10 o'clock position and the 6 o'clock position. Press the escape key and I'm going to zoom all. Next I'm going to take it, I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim and get rid of the parts of the circles that we don't need. Don't forget about this little tail right there and right here. There, we have the outline of our tri spinner. Next, we need to locate the holes where the barrel bearings are going to go. So I'm going to take and I'm going to offset this line here, the circle that goes around. I'm going to offset this a distance of 0.25. Press Enter on the keyboard. I'm also going to offset my vertical line 
to the right, 0.25, enter on the keyboard, click that line again and offset to the left, 0.25, press enter on the keyboard. These intersections here and here are where the ball bearings are going to go, so I'm going to select the circle. I'm going to snap onto that intersection, stretch out a circle. This diameter is going to be 0.245. Press enter on the keyboard. I'm going to do another one over here. Make sure it snaps onto that intersection. 0.245. Press enter on the keyboard. Next we're going to use our circular pattern for these. I'm going to select both of these ball bearing holes. Next I'm going to change to the axis button. And for this, I'm going to select the center of my origin. For this circular pattern, I only want it to revolve three times. Change the geometry to three. And then click OK. Great job. Next, we're going to take and finish sketch. I'm going to go home so I can see everything. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to extrude direction number two. I'm going to select and highlight my tri-spinner, the profile body of it. And I'm going to enter in a distance of 0.275 and click OK. Next, I'm going to take and ease the edges going around here. So to do that, I'm going to use my fillet. I'm going to take and have a radius of 0.125, which is default, so that's good in there. I'm going to click my outside edge on the front. I'm going to click my outside edge on the back. And I'm going to select Apply. X this out. And next, what I'm going to do is change the color. I'm going to change it from default here. I'm going to change it to a color that you might like. I like this dark green one. Then I'm going to go to the orange capital letter I. I'm going to save as. I'm going to go to my H drive, first initial, last name, 000. And I'm going to type in my name and try spinner. And select save. The next thing we need to do is save this as an STL so the 3D printer can read it. I'm going to click the orange capital letter I in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to export. I'm going to export CAD format. Once again, this is going to go to my H drive, first initial, last name, 000. And I'm going to change the type of the file from an AutoCAD drawing to an STL file. And click Save. Great job. Once you have that completed, you are all finished and ready to 3D print your tri-spinner. Once you have your finger pads drawn and STL file, then you can print both of those on the 3D printer. Congratulations. Nice job.